this. Who's miscarriaging? Why are you trapped in there? Okay, hold up a second. You can open this door. I'm pretty sure this one can get out on its own, but I just want to check something. Are you not in a pen? You're not. Cool. Oh. So E is in hypothermia. Alright, that's time to light the fires. It must be almost winter. I think I highlighted all of them then. Another caravan arrived home. Cool. So I will get somebody in here. Lincoln's up. Can I get you to just refill that? Because Mies E is going to be like a problem in a second. I think if everybody else is pretty much okay. He's starting to like take physical damage. All right. Uh, Lincoln, where did you go, mate? I'll get you back here on this one so we can get this a bit better. He's got frostbite happening. He's got that. The others aren't far behind. Here we go. Okay, let's get rid of these medical beds. I will probably have something like that. <sighs> Caravan's ambushed. Which one? Tofu's one again. Are you guys like stationary this whole time? Why is it got to be cats, yo? Oh, cool. All right. Well, at least there's four of you now. So let's save this. Read. Well. It should be fine. I'm pretty sure one of them, one or two, has got a gun. I don't know if this caravan can, like, carry ship, but we're going to just do that. You guys can just do that. Caravan battle one. Yep. It was one. Uh, no, we don't take him home. Like, my people do slaughter cats once they have too many and stuff like that. But, like, generally speaking, I don't generally force it. What the fuck are you wearing, mate? you got synth red stuff on. Let's go find your jumper, huh? Like, where's, it, where's, an, where's a nice jumper? What's this? Heavy wool? Probably. Uh, go wear that. That'll make you so much warmer. Actually, the ones that are going on a caravan, you have a... Jacket, a parka, parka. Mm, you don't. I'll just see what happens with E when he puts this on. So let's see if his armor stays on or not. No, it didn't. Uh, my people are home again. Look, what's your armor quality anyway? It's still played armor, mate. You are going out on a caravan, so not really cool with you not having the armor. Wear that. Where's the other one that didn't have it? You had just a jacket. Other caravans arrived home. He's got a jacket. Wool jacket. Like, I can deal with it for a while while they go out. I just want to make sure that they have their, like, warm stuff. Okay. That's on its way. Their home. Okay. So, the ones that got attacked were here. This caravan's pretty much coming up its butt, so it'll be there soon. You guys have already done everything? Pretty much. Almost. I haven't done the, the bushes yet. So I've got little fireplaces in just about every room anyway. That should warm them right up. Um, now, what I should be doing is if I slow this back down. So, I was going to do a circle with this shit. 
which generally requires it to be, I don't know, sell for two. I sort of, what was that? I saw something just like stroke pass. Not sure what that was. All right, so we've got a couple of caravans going out, and I think the majority are on the way back. There's only two coming back. No, you go on the longest. It's fine. I'll just keep an eye on this for a minute, and then I'll fix up the, the base stuff. I'll tell you what, in here... Where the fuck am I? Uh, Dodsworth is sad wandering. So, zone. Let's see. Remove roof. Yeah. This area could collapse, so I'm not thrilled about it. Whoop, whoop. Let's not do that. Um, okay. I need to take out most of it, but just not quite enough of it that it's going to collapse the entire fucking structure. Something like that will do it. Okay. You guys can reform and head home. Oh, you got duck eggs somehow. And you peeled some alpacas. Nice. I did say I wasn't taking them home, but fuck it. They can take it home. Everybody can get food poisoning. They'll love it. You guys, if you just rest for half a second, a little more than half a second, maybe a minute, maybe we can get there. How long are you going to take to get there? Two days? You guys are close enough. Keep going. Don't rest. You're going to get there in about a day, two days. Cool. I just got to keep an eye on that because they'll be close. I, I do want the extra people. And the only problem I have got is it's the 13th of April, May, and I'm pretty sure there's only 15 days. So there's two more days to get there, which means that, that the ones that are traveling up here, oh, for fuck's sake, um, I'm concerned that they may not have sufficient food for their trip. And it's bunnies. All right. I can't literally like make them stay here for very long. I'm just gonna save it normal. It's a fucking bunny. Anything I could do is maybe make them harvest the mixture. Cool. Get on the harvesting because that will literally be the difference between having enough food and not having enough food. Just chop chop. Look, it has happened before when I've had like 30 something attack. I should nearly have enough berries. Yep, they're all wandering. Cool. They apparently are already out of food, for God's sake. I'm not taking those bunnies, they're too heavy. I'll take the steel urn, so. Uh, you guys look like you have the tarnished shit. The bi-coated guns that I don't want in my inventory anymore. Fabulous. Love it. Okay, this group's nearly home. Anything I could think of doing that would potentially help this group here is sending out one caravan, maybe like a couple of people, that is purely just weighted with food. 400 kilos of food would probably be quite sufficient. I'll take 500. I'll see if I can take 500 of food. I don't want any of that to go with me. A couple of medicines would be great, considering I'm going into a fight. Let's see what I can do here. So I don't have bugger all kibbles, so there's not much I can do about that. But I will take 300 pemmican. I will take... Uh, no, they won't eat it when they're out. Take 10 of this. Package survival meals. You guys can straight up see if you can carry a 1,000. Should help. And as for rice... I also feel like about a thousand. That's 247 days. I'm pretty sure they'll probably make it home in that time. 
by the look of it, I really don't need to take the extra animals. But hey, you never fucking know. You never know what's out there, right? Um, by the way, it says I've got a lot of days, but by the time I actually group up with the other team and see what happens, this may be quite insufficient, which makes me think I should probably take at least a thousand in berries. I have to be too fucking careful about it. All right. You guys will figure that out. That's a lot of berries and shit to put on just a few animals. Well, see, the way I see it is that winter's about to happen, right? And they're going to arrive and have a battle and then be recovering. So there's no way that they're going to get out before winter happens. And even if they do, they've still got, like, three-day journey with however many people and animals they've got. And I'm just seeing it as a nightmare. I've seen enough times where my people are coming home in winter and they just don't make it, you know? Oh my god, it's guinea pigs. You're right, let's let's let this happen. It's evil guinea pigs at that. Right, if you attack one at a time, you might have a better chance. You know what I should do is the ones that are going out, I should see if I can load up just a couple of extra jumpers. Nobody's dying? Sweet. Okay, where are you? There. Reform. And go there. That's right, you got a turkey on you. Alright, cool. Send. Uh, caravan battle is one. Now, who's going out? You are. Can you throw in? Let's throw in that. And can you throw in that? When you're done with that, I'll grab the other couple of parkers and I'll just chuck them in as well. Because that way, if some of the people that are already out have insufficient, oh, for God's sake, then I can at least fix them up. Pretty sure you're supposed to be loading that one. How about instead of, oh, come here. Great, they're getting ambushed by pirates. Oh my god, it's a Nicholas. Uh, chemical fascination. I'm sorry, but chemical fascinations must die. I just can't stand fucking dealing with them. I'm so tempted to take an actual Nicholas, although I've got a Nicholas. I've got a Nick. I feel like you could have shot that better. How's about you don't stand where you're going to shoot? Hey, 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 maybe melee it? Did you shoot that one? Never trust that they haven't shot it. Uh, squeeze me? What was that? Panther's getting fucking attacked by grizzly bear. Are you guys not animal controlling anymore? And that cat's next, you know it, right? That's my people. Yeah. If she goes down, I'm just refreshing it. It's fine. I already can't really deal with the fact that Rose is down. That's annoying. What? Wow. I have never seen that before. I legitimately, in all this time I've played, I have not seen that happen. Mind you, I also don't generally send out such small caravans that don't generally have fighters or, you know, whatever. Those two could fight, but still. Glad I saved shit. All right, move on up. Now, Rose can definitely move over. You can move back. Don't shoot Rose, idiot. Okay, Rose is definitely down. I don't think it should take that much effort to kill somebody. Oh, they're fucking hyped up as all hair. Wow, that grizzly bear is still happening. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's just load this up. Let's fix two things straight away, hey? Let's fix up this grizzly bear shit and let's shoot this guy from a distance.
Take me to the base. Where is this bear? Might be over here somewhere. There. Okay, Chris, do you have... You only would have a gun. You're a hunter. I think maybe I could at least distract. Look. You're gonna go punch a bear. It's just a fa fact of whatever's gonna go out. Alright. Now... Dodsworth isn't gonna be of any help. Sam could definitely help though. Yeah, you're gonna punch a bear. Right, let's go back to these two. Now, what I want is... Essentially, I do want Rose to go up further. I really need Rose to be the one that kind of like draws in the attack. Um, so I can make her kind of run around a bit. Come on, keep running. Legitimately just keep running. Should be able to shoot him. Okay, she's now downed. Okay, he's got five hours. We should legitimately be able to take that. Where is this happening? Here. Cool. You guys good? Yeah? Awesome. So the bear is down. No, it's up to Nina to try to fucking kick this guy's ass. And I now understand why he's so friggin' hard to kill. I kind of wish that she had been standing further back. He does have five hours. And I am pretty sure I sent her out without her gear. Normally she would have gear. Nina is very injured, though. Down to three hours. Come on, you can do it. Jesus. Not... Wow. Really? Okay. I know sometimes they say, like, the best situation is to just run... But my, I don't know if you can run when you're just straight up being raided. Let me see if I can. Hold up. Okay, take me back to them. Can I go out of this? No, I can't. Okay. I just wanted to check that. So, yeah, definitely... Rose is going to go out further, and Nina is going to stay back and try to shoot. So what I want is for Rose to legitimately just keep running. Further away from her, preferably. So Nina has an extra shot when Rose goes down. Great, my panther died. Silverware is now in a daze. Come on, don't stop. Jesus Christ. Come on, Rose. I have not had to use a tactic like this before. Holy shit. Okay. What is going on here? It's down. Sweet. We lost the panther. That's unfortunate. They're all right. I don't know. I want you guys to head back to what you're doing. Where is Sam? He was supposed to be recruited and helping this situation. They seem to be fine. How's Rose? Near critical. It's fine. Slap one of these down. Let's make sure it's medical. Pick you off that. Rescue her. Please save this. Panther 18 died. Silverware is in a recreationally deprived thing. Okay, you are not going back to sleep. I could see exactly what you're fucking doing. She needs help now. 
Tilt Spear, Go Juice, all this shit. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that it, it, I have no idea how many bullets that took to kill them. I really don't. As soon as she's patched up, and they'll be on the move. Oh man, my shoulder. This guy, I cannot. He's got at least three shots to his torso. He was basically roiding out right there. Okay, she's done helium. If you count everything, he at least got shot, right? He got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. Uh, yeah, so he took at least ten shots. Holy shit. Where were you headed? Look like you might have been headed home. I'm hoping you were headed home. I don't really want to bring go juice home, but I know that it's something I can sell. Uh, they really didn't have much else. They have any, they had no silver or anything. They must have sold everything. Uh, they got wood. They're on the way out. Damn it. Okay. Hold up. He must have been on the way down to this one. I was hoping that they were on the way home and that I'd have, like, a few more people back here. At least we got a spine for you now. Should also be home by now. Get you a spine. Where is it? Um, his eyes, arms, spine. Cool. Now, somebody is inspired. Your go frenzy, inspired creativity. We don't have any inspired surgeons at home at the moment. But I am going to choose the person here that has the highest medical. Tofu is 14. Um. 13, 12, I really want them to have the best chance at this going right. All right, it's going to be tofu. All right. Are you sure he's not just going straight there? Like, if he's running behind, generally speaking, it's easier to just go straight to your next job. Even if you do want to, like, stop by home and stuff like that, it's often more efficient. I sort of do want to watch this surgery happen because I'd really love for her to be good and able to like get up and stuff yeah probably a good thing to check on him anyway because like oh shit because if he is supposed to be home then um you know something could have happened stuff like that like i hate saying stuff like that but it's best to check i'm gonna try this again i'm pretty sure i did save it right before i did that and the reason why is i'm trying for successful spine situation thing. I know she's not in a bed or anything. So the only thing I could think of that can improve the chances would be to actually slap her up in a bed, which by the way, I am going to be making bets. This is something I wanted to do today, 
before I went on this big excursion to find a fucking spine. But I actually did want to make beds. And if I can just see what... Because I've got a lot of wood for them to use. But I've got... Stop scrolling. Sandstone. Granite. I have a lot of limestone. Limestone beds aren't that favorable with them. Like, a sandstone bed's also, like, not that great. Um, chips easily. They would probably enjoy granite beds, but I think it would require a lot of effort to make. So I'll tell you what, let's get up here. Let's make sure not the art bench, but the stone cutters ones are all back up and running. Um, probably put these back up in commission. Yeah, okay. So butchering, building, all that stuff's all back available. Sweet. Now, I want... I don't think we have enough for it. No, I don't have... I don't have marble to begin with. I wanted to put down marble bedding. He might be back, but not have tonight shift. Oh, yeah. Well, at least it's good to know he's, he's good. I'm going to slap down granite beds. This is not really my choice for bedding, but whatever. I'm going to make a dozen or so of these with the hope that as they get made, as they get made good, I can move them into like proper rooms and shit. Actually, you know what I should do is not waste that. I should make double beds. Mm. I'm going to do that. I might as well just upgrade to wood for now. Because I've got a lot of wood resources, they might actually be able to finish it quickly. So generally what happens is I like to make a whole heap of, I guess, any type of bed. And the idea is that when it's finished getting built and it's a good quality, I can slap it into the appropriate room. If it's not good quality, I can uplift it and destroy it or whatever and it's fine. It's generally the purpose behind it, you know. Um, in this case, being in a hospital, every new bed that gets finished should theoretically turn into a hospital bed. Theoretically. So I should be able to hopefully make a whole bunch of beds that can get used pretty efficiently. I'm going to save that. They probably won't. Okay. Okay. So here comes Tofu again. He's going to try again, but I have at least saved. So if he fails, I can just try again. It doesn't help that the hospital is fucking filthy. If it fails again, what I might do is try to make a bed, one bed, and get her moved. But that's going to be hard. Pretty much I have to change these all over to like sleep beds, not medical beds. And Franklin's already working on a bed. Either that or he's refilling fire. Alright, come on Tofu. Like He does have really good medical. I'm glad that I saved it right before the surgery because there's so many times that I don't and it fails and I lose the thing and the person potentially dies or does die. Woo! It worked. She's got a bionic spine. She's going to be back up and running. She obviously can't move now, but she'll be back up. And they didn't get too low. The The really nice thing about all this is like this entire quest to get what I needed, a spine for her, has basically turned up good. And I'm going to have a whole heap of like prosthetic shits. By the way, you wanted to see wealth, Grim. Um, yeah, see, none of this means anything to me. I'm pretty sure these are all the times that have been attacked. God only knows what this is. There was a marriage? Was that today? Did I miss that? 
I don't know. I happen. See, I tend to look at this page 